Like and subscribe right now or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. When you think of the most dangerous predators hunting us divers underwater, it doesn't surprise us if your answer would be sharks. Sharks do get a bad reputation for killing unsuspecting divers whenever the opportunity arises, but did you know you are actually more likely to be killed by a hippo than a shark? Now you may wonder whether there are some exotic underwater creatures you might not want to provoke. We've done the research for you, so here are 10 creatures you might want to admire from a distance. That is, if you still choose to go to the ocean after watching this video. One of the most dangerous sea creatures on our list might not have razor sharp teeth or any visible mouth at all, but it has caused more human deaths in Australia than snakes sharks, and saltwater crocodiles combined. These creatures are transparent and pale blue in color, which makes them almost invisible. It actually took quite a long time before anyone even realized what was causing unsuspecting swimmers and divers such agonizing pain. One box jellyfish contains enough venom to kill up to 60 humans, and what makes them even more dangerous is their venom speed of acting. The sting of a box jellyfish can kill you in less than 5 minutes. Unlike other jellyfishes floating with the currents, these can swim. Other traits that set them apart from other jellyfish is their ability to see. They have clusters of eyes on each side of the box-shaped body. These abilities support the belief that instead of waiting for food to bump into their tentacles, box jellyfish might hunt for prey. Fortunately for us humans, their menu consists of small fish and shrimp, not humans. If you ever book a dive in Australia or tropical East Asia, which is where these box jellyfish live, we recommend you equip yourself with sting protectors. There is no such thing as flying killer fish, but the next creature on our list gets pretty close. The great barracuda is known to have attacked humans. To make you feel better, these attacks are extremely rare and occur when Barracuda tries to steal prey from a spear. The appearance of these predators is more than likely to make you at least a little cautious though. The Great Barracudas have a body shaped like a torpedo and two rows of razor sharp teeth. And if you need one more reason to why you should not try to make contact with these creatures nor eat them, here's a good one. The Great Barracuda's flesh sometimes contains toxin which can cause serious symptoms from vomiting to leg weakness. And those symptoms can last more than three months. Sea snakes include about 30 to 50 different species, which are most likely to be met in the tropical waters of the Pacific and Indian Oceans. These creatures are part of the cobra family and are 2 meters long on average. Sea snakes aren't aggressive animals, but due to their highly toxic venom, they worm their way on our list. Only 3 drops of their venom can kill about 8 people. Even though sea snakes are likely to hide from humans, we recommend you don't get too close to them. In the unlikely event that a sea snake wants to envenomate you, it can easily do so, even through a wetsuit. But unlike fish, they don't have gills, therefore they have to surface every once in a while for the much needed shot of air. They're known to be a venomous lot just like a good deal of the other terrestrial counterparts, so maybe encountering them in the natural habitat is potentially dangerous. But the good news is that the sea snakes aren't always looking to bite, however that doesn't mean that they're exactly harmless reptiles. Cause you gotta remember that there are over 60 different species, which means that there is bound to be a lot of variation in the temperament. There are a few that are more likely to strike at the slightest provocation. The most worrisome thing about sea snake bites is the venom injecting bites are usually painless, but symptoms set in later will include sweating, thirst, vomiting, and paralysis. Fatality will occur, especially when the respiratory muscles are paralyzed. The next predator on our list has camouflage beyond compare, which adds danger if you happen to be a super venomous creature. Let us introduce you to the second species on our list, the stonefish, also known as the most venomous fish in the world. This fish might not be more than 30 to 40 centimeters long, but they are living proof of the fact that you don't need to be great in order to be a threat. The venom of a stonefish can cause excruciating pain, temporary paralysis, and even heart failure. Luckily, there are some pretty effective antidotes available if you are so unfortunate to be a victim of this creature. The reassuring fact for divers is that the stonefishes won't actually attack you. These creatures use their venom only as a defensive mechanism and kill their prey with quick attacks instead. There's a creature out there that only weighs 30 grams but contains enough poison to kill over 20 humans. Next on our list is the tiny but deadly blue-ringed octopus, whose paralyzing venom is 1200 times more powerful than cyanide. 
a type of creature you don't want to mess with. Good news is that these creatures don't want to mess with you either. They avoid any confrontation with humans and eject their venom only when provoked or stepped on. There is no effective antidote to the venom and only treatment is to treat the symptoms until the venom dissipates, usually within 24 hours. No listing of predators is complete without a huge reptile. Next on our list is the saltwater crocodile, which kills on average two people per year. These are branded as the most dangerous animal of Australia. That's really something, considering we're talking about the continent infamous for its deadly creatures. Weighing up to 1200 kilograms, saltwater crocodiles are the largest crocodilians on the planet, and with their size comes lethal power. Saltwater crocodiles has the most powerful bite in the world, and its jaw has 10 times more strength than the great white shark, which is what you would suspect the most dangerous creature of the ocean. Unlike other predators on our list, saltwater crocs are murderous on both land and sea. They might not be as fast on dry land as some horror stories tell, but they can attack quicker than us poor humans can react. Next on our list is the flower urchin, which has made its way to the Guinness Book of Records as the world's most dangerous sea urchin, and not without reason. Flower urchins, sharp and extremely venomous spines, make it the kind of creature you don't really want to step on. As you might already have learned the hard way that standing on a sea urchin is no walk in the park. Flower urchins are in a league of their own when it comes to painful defensive mechanisms. Unlike other sea urchins, the stings of these creatures not only hurt, but they can also cause paralysis, which may even lead to death. Lionfish are endemic to the Indo-Pacific, where they feast on smaller fish and other smaller marine life, spotting white, red, black, or creamy bands. According to scientists, these are all warnings against any would-be predator that attacking a lionfish is not the best of ideas, and rightfully so. This fish species is known for its venomous spiky fin ray that is the go-to apparatus for defense. The venom released isn't always fatal to humans but has been found to cause a wide array of effects. They include extreme pain that can last up to several weeks, sweating, breathing difficulties, vomiting, and convulsions. For a larger part, that's about it. But occasionally, the venom can have more devastating effects such as heart failure, paralysis, and even death. Such extreme effects are common in children, the elderly, and those who are allergic to the venom with a compromised immune system. Despite all that though, lionfish are a worthwhile delicacy with the correct preparation. Did you know what kind of predator was responsible for the death of the world-famous crocodile hunter Steve Irwin on the coast of Australia in 2006? The cold-blooded killer was an Australian bull ray, one of the largest species of stingrays. But to calm your nerves, your chances of being attacked by a stingray are next to nothing. That is to say, stingrays don't actually hunt for divers and swimmers, and you will be stung by a stingray only if you step on it and it will defend using its sting. We recommend you watch your steps since the venom of these creatures is extremely painful and some stingray species can be fatal to humans. When thinking about the most dangerous sea creatures, snails are quite unlikely to come to mind. Cone snails are only 10 to 15 centimeters long and look quite innocent, but a single drop of their venom is said to be enough to kill 20 men. If you're an enthusiastic shell collector, we recommend you handle these fellows with care. Cone snails are far cry from aggressive chasers, which wouldn't work well with snails anyways, but rather harpoon their prey with hollow teeth and inject lethal venom through. Cone snails can be met in the deep reef waters all the way from the Indian and Pacific Oceans to the Caribbean and Red Seas, and also along the coast of Florida, but the ones lurking in the Indo-Pacific region tend to have more harmful toxin than others. 